we've done this before, and, and I, I'd like to say it's a tradition unlike any other, where, ex explain to me again, if you don't mind setting up. Of course. The, the NFL coach as stepfather game. Yes. Colin Max, uh, many years ago, I was watching an NFL game with my father. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, it was a, it was a, a college, college game because it was Charlie Weiss when he was uh, head coach <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> Charlie of Notre Dame. Of Notre Dame. So Charlie Weiss is the George Washington of this He situation. is the George Washington of this game. Okay. And my dad, just, it, they, were, they had a shot of him and my dad just said, I wonder what kind of stepfather he would be like. And the game was born. So we basically look at head coaches mm -hmm. and then we try and come up with like, what is the phrase or like the go-to move of that stepfather? To their stepchild to in a way? To their stepchild. Right. Yeah, all, yeah, always to the stepchild. Do you recall what Charlie Weiss's... I do uh, not recall, recall what Charlie Weiss's was. That's, that's no. how, how, how often you played this it was, game. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, it's like, a, like a, a, a Abraham Lincoln just <laughs> lost to the ages to stick with the presidential thing. So we figured we would just, uh, I think one time we, we even did this for Jim Tom Sula. That's how long we've been oh, doing we've this. We've been doing this for we've a, long, doing this. a long time. And Coughlin, I forget what Coughlin, Coughlin was. Coughlin was Slugger. Hey, Slugger, <laughs> how's it going? What's going on, Slugger? Who was the guy who says, uh, pass me the clicker? I, I, I was think that was Tom Sula. I think that, that was Tom Sula. Tom I think, Sula, I think, right? I think Hunter, Tom Sula. No, it's not pass me the clicker. You were wondering if he's always the stepdad. Hey, where's the with, clicker? Which, yeah, where's the, the clicker? Yeah, of the location of the clicker? Where's the clicker? <laughs> Anyone seen the clicker? That was that was it. So I mean, I, I this is it, it's a it's a game yeah. that keeps on giving. It's even better when when you know their head coaching changes, which there always are. So it's there's right. always it's a refreshment class. Door. It is. It's it's kind of uh, it it just is it refreshes itself. Yes. Um, so uh, we figured we'd give you the photograph that was taken at the owners' meeting. Oh yes, a uh, little bit less than a month ago, right around yeah, this time in yeah. March. Um, and there it is, right there on the screen. So many of our viewers, uh, so many of our <laughs> listeners know what we're looking at, right there. Yeah. Um, and they, oh, they remember. You know, there we we figured we we'd give you Doug Peterson, who's in the back row mm -hmm. on his. Um, Mm -hmm. on his uh, rascal and he yep. bumped Jay Gruden as the photograph is being taken so Jay's in some sort of Heimlich maneuver type uh, uh, posture right couldn't there. Couldn't take another shot? Not one for safety? I guess I don't know. Not one, one for safety? For I mean the league actually has a position called safety <laughs> and they didn't go one just one they more didn't. just in case? Nice. I mean, uh, Not multiple shutter clicks? Yeah. I, I mean, mean John Gruden always looks like he's squinting um, so what what leaps out at you uh, from this? Here, okay, look, Colin? I don't mean to disappoint the listeners of your program mm -hmm. who who now expect me to do this every time. There is no way I can talk about anything mm -hmm. except Andy Reid in that <laughs> photograph. He is a he is a black hole of attention. People say it was amazing that they took a photo of a black hole. I think it's amazing that Andy <laughs> Reid is sitting in the middle of this photograph, front row. In, in shorts, probably with ankle socks, maybe, we hope, uh, for his wife. There's something in his, in his pocket, um, yeah. could be a lottery ticket. I don't know. What, I don't know what that shirt is. Could be a Danish. Is it a Hawaiian pattern? It could be. I think it is. Um, it, I also, the first time I saw it, I went, he's bald? <laughs> I had no idea because I'd only seen him in hats. I had never seen him in anything else. And then really th the main takeaway. Yes. He looks like Wilford Brimley from Cocoon. <laughs> he has more. I that. see that and I go, where's Hume Cronin? Where is Jessica Tandy? Uh, where are they swimming? <laughs> Definitely not in this photograph. Not in this photograph. He's a man spreading masterpiece in the middle of that right there. The centerpiece of man spreading. Uh, yeah, so do you know what, what type of stepdad he would be right there? Or uh, Oh, man. I mean, that is... Or you is... couldn't even get to that. No, you couldn't I, even get, I couldn't just... even get to that. I, I couldn't even get to that. But if I had to make something up, yes. I would just say, going on the Wilford Brimley and yeah. oatmeal, I think he's the kind of stepdad that would just say, hey, you going to finish that? <laughs> You gonna finish that? And it's anything. It could be breakfast, could be lunch. It could just be like a soda. Homework <laughs> could be homework too. You gonna finish that? You gonna finish that? Well, that's a different tone, but yeah. That's a, that, that's a more authoritative tone. <laughs> Although maybe he's the kind of stepdad that doesn't want any food to go to waste. You know? You gonna fit you know you're gonna finish that? He could be the kind of stepdad that like gives his dog the rest of his dinner that he doesn't want to eat. He could do that. Yeah. He does look Honey, like that. Honey, don't guy. feed the dog. It's, she's fine. She's it's funny. fine. I thought of all the ones that you would uh, also be um, zooming in on is Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah. Who looks like 
you know, the new stepdad who's in, in his in his finely tailored. I mean, look, I'm going to be quite but showing off the pecs yeah, and and the sure. and his finely tailored sort of Italian button down shirt. Yeah, the shoes. The shoes probably cost more than Andy Reid's entire get up, without a doubt. But you want to know what? It yeah. also looks like he's the guy who's not allowed to lift the Stanley Cup over his head because he's in accounting. <laughs> all of them Cliff look from accounting. They all look like accountants in comparison to Andy Reid in that photograph. <laughs> and Belichick made it too. That I mean, think about it. that. I know. It he made Belichick look like well dressed. When has that ever happened? <laughs> when has that ever happened? Never. Oh my gosh. For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.